What's up guys, Jigsaw here and welcome to my guide on how to master King of Atlantis Aquaman. This video is specifically made for beginners or people that have a hard time getting the hang of King of Atlantis Aquaman and also making him perform the way they want in arena or raids. But if you are a more advanced player and you are already killing it with your King of Atlantis, just stick around, you may find some useful information here after all. So without further ado, let's get started. To master King of Atlantis, you basically need to focus on three main things. One, you need to have the right build for the right sub-boss or phase. Basically, you can use a critical build for King of Atlantis on Captain Cold and then wonder why your damage output was so low. So here you have two chases of builds, one critical and one non-critical. If you want a more in-depth guide for the builds, for King of Atlantis, go watch my boy Civil the Grim. I'll leave a link in the description with his uh, King of Atlantis build guy. But to uh, sound things up from my perspective, uh, one critical build meaning crit chance, crit damage and fast attack. And the rest can go all the way into attack. Uh, one non-critical build only fast attack, attack. And depending on what you want to hit, you may or may not need some uh, black effectiveness and some armor pierce. If you want to fight uh, sub bosses in general, you definitely need some armor pierce, especially on Captain Cold. Uh, in my opinion, 48% uh, armor pierce is the sweet spot. And uh, if you want to fight phase 2 or, I don't know, phase 3, phase 4, uh, you need some black, effecti uh, black effect effectiveness. Excuse me. Uh, for phase 3, phase 1, phase 4, you don't really need um, black effectiveness because uh, Brainiac specials are already armor pierce and you can tag in and you have the revive from King of Atlantis and you will be fine but for phase 2 where uh, you fight 1v1 with the boss Brainiac you definitely need like 40 or 50 percent black effectiveness uh, to mitigate that armor pierce damage from Brainiac. So here you have to make a choice on what uh, type of build you want and where you want to use uh, your King of Atlantis Aquaman. For, <coughs> for Gorilla Grad, I would say go for a critical build and put like 40% fast attack anyway. For Dr. Fate, I would say the same. Uh, for Horrific Scarecrow, again, critical, uh, critical build with uh, armor pierce and for Captain Cold, non-critical build but with armor pierce and uh, a little bit of defense if you want to fight 1v1 but if you have a good tank in your team, you can do the combos with your tank then tag in King of Atlantis and if you play it right, you will survive just fine. If you want to fight phase 1, critical build. Uh, no need for armor pierce since Brainiac has already low defense. Um, for phase 2, uh, non-critical build but with black effectiveness, a lot of black effectiveness. Phase 3, critical build, no armor pierce, no black effectiveness. And phase 4, just offensive critical, uh, critical build. That's it. Uh, now number 2, you need the right team and the most optimal uh, one for your King of Atlantis Aquaman. Basically you can pair King of Atlantis with Catwoman or Swamp Thing and expect this guy to perform. Uh, in my opinion best teams and the most optimal ones for him are Silver Fate and Shazam. This is the number one in terms of damage and if you saw raid videos with King of Atlantis, 9 out of, nine out of uh, 10 fights are with Silver Fate and Shazam because Shazam boosts uh, King of Atlantis Aquaman uh, attack by a, by a lot and Silver Fate helps you with lower uh, power cast on specials especially useful on the, uh, the third special because it casts a lot of power bars 
so that's very handy uh, number two team would be Silver Fate and Justice League The Flash a great alternative for if you don't have Shazam because you would still get plus 100% damage per fast attack because you have plus one fast attack hit so that's double the fast attack you are doing um, this works great for phase 2 and also Captain Cold uh, but only if you don't have Shazam. If you have Shazam, just put that character there because it's more optimal. Um, and the third team would be Silver Fate and Classic Superman. Why I'm composing this team? It's because of a few reasons. Uh, and that reason is purely defense on the sub bosses, especially on tier 7 or tier 8. If you don't have Shazam, if you don't have Justice League The Flash, uh, swap them out with classic Superman and mitigate uh, some defense from the sub bosses. This works great. Uh, if you don't have Armor Pierce Talents on your King of Atlantis Aquaman build, but if you do have Armor Pierce Talents, just wait until you get Shazam or Justice League The Flash because, because it's a much better choice. Now, uh, number three, you need the right gameplay and strategy. Uh, now I'm going to test this out in Arena for you guys to see how you need to play, uh, let's say, in Raids with your King of Atlantis. Um, I'm not going to use the full team. The full uh, King of Atlantis Aquaman team. I'm only going to use Shazam and I'm going to put all blades. So, my first advice would be just start the match with King of Atlantis Aquaman. Um, I did it wrong because I put this guy uh, second, but in raids you need to put this guy first and back off then rush. So what I mean by that, back off then rush uh, to start the match with a positive frame advantage. Then first you want to tag out and tag in your characters like crazy, but only if you can, if you are fighting I don't know, phase 2 or horrific scarecrow, you can do that. But after you have a lot of power from tagging in, you need to do three special twos. This way you get already 300% basic damage and you did that way sooner so right now you can just keep your king of atlantis aquaman in the match and then you need to spam those special trees but again build combos with other characters do a bunch of tagins and after you've managed to do three special uh, twos then you can go ahead and do that 10% health reduction from the special tree and make sure you are hitting the sub boss or the phase when the bosses have full health. This way you get that sweet 10% uh, damage reduction per health and that's some big ass damage from his special tree. Uh, another thing I would advise you is just make sure you don't go ahead and fight sub bosses that you are not experienced with like i don't know horrific scarecrow or phase two if you have the right build but you don't know how to play that specific phase or that specific boss just uh don't play it at all uh, only if you want to master that specific phase but let's say you have 
a critical build and you want to hit Captain Cold, but you don't have the experience in Captain Cold and your build is not made for Captain Cold. So it, it is better to not hit that boss than to screw things up and then lose your uh, King of Atlantis Aquaman because uh, this guy is going to boost your, uh, your damage in rates by a ton, so it would be a huge waste to lose the damage from this guy. So like I said, you start the match first, uh, let me show you in another fight. I learned this way back ago, but I still see some players that they don't do it. And then the bosses have that crazy frame advantage and they start the match uh, wrong. So let's say you have the right build, you put King of Atlantis Aquaman first. Uh, no matter if you are fighting uh, Captain Cold Phase 2 anyway, especially if you are fighting Phase 2 or Horrific Scarecrow, you need to put King of Atlantis Aquaman first and then start by backing off, then rushing into the boss, uh, do a couple of hits and do as soon as possible that uh, one special 2 and then you are going to tag out because of that random tagging from phase 2 and horrific scarecrow and then you can let your uh, teammates die so you let your teammates die and then when king of atlantis aquaman comes back up you have a lot of power you already did one special two and you are ready to go So like this, it's really not that hard right now I'm using uh, Nightmare Batman so for me it's easier because the opponents are stunned. God damn it with the blind. Die already. Yeah, guys, so this is how you master King of Atlantis Aquaman. Like, you need the right build for the right sub boss, you need the right team and the most optimal one for your specific build, of course, and you need the right gameplay and strategy. If you want to improve your gameplay, for King of Atlantis Aquaman, just uh, try things out either in arena, either in campaign. But do not do not try this uh, out in uh, raids because you you would lose your King of Atlantis Aquaman if you screw something up, and you definitely don't want to do that. So that was it. Uh, it's really not that hard to master King of Atlantis Aquaman because he's already so OP. So it is better to keep it safe and just build him uh, the way you can play. So build him safe, build him for the faces or the bosses that you are most comfortable fighting and do not risk uh, losing those three special trees because you definitely don't want to do that. That was the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, take care, peace.